Welcome to another tech video. Today we're going to be upgrading the RAM in this Lenovo. It's a Ryzen 7, it's got 8 gig of RAM, 500 gig hard drive. Um, it needs more memory basically for Windows 11, so we're going to be upgrading it to a, a 16 gig kit to 8 gig SODIMM chips. So let's start shall we so the first thing that we want to do is uh, we've got this plastic clip here so we want to squeeze together the edges and just lift that off like that next we've got um, we're going to take the stand off so we've got four screws one in each corner here uh, this metal bar is slightly recessed so you can still get the uh, screwdriver in there so we'll remove these and put them in a little plastic cover so they're all together you don't need to take out the uh, screw on here. That's part of the what holds, clamps the arm in place into the mount. So there we go, that's those four screws removed and then that will just lift out. Uh, we'll remove the USB dongle from there and that's it in terms of what needs to come off here. The next bit is quite tricky. So underneath the bottom here, there's a little flap. This contains a, uh, just a drive cage for additional storage. There's no additional storage in here. So we're just gonna move this down and then that will just pull out. We just take that out, put that to one side. Then you'll notice on the right hand side here, we've got a little rubber grommet. So what we wanna do is we want to get that grommet out and underneath you'll see a little Phillips screwdriver. It's got a directional arrow on the side here. Just there. And that tells you which way to turn a screwdriver. So I use a flathead screwdriver because it's a really plastic clip inside that pushes the uh, frame away from the back cover. So to do that we're going to lie this down and we're going to make sure we've got plenty of material to cushion any force that we put on it. We're then going to take our flathead screwdriver, put it in there and just turn in the direction of the arrow until it goes crack like that. <laughs> and what that's done is that has opened the frame here that we can then use a variety of tools just to unclip all the way around. So I've got to use this, uh, this plectrum and this prizer. We're just going to go around and make sure that it's all unclipped. All the way around. Right, so once we start pulling that down, you'll notice that this piece here will sit over some clips. So you just want to pull that out slightly and raise it up. Okay, so we want to start unpicking it basically. So what we're going to do is we're now going to turn it over. And I'm now going to take the end of just some pliers that I'm just going to make sure it's all free. Okay, and now we want to get another prizer tool. So I'm going to take this one. Looks like a little Christian cross. Okay. That's that one done. This side's a bit trickier. It's a bit tricky on this side. Okay, so we've got it out on this side. So let's just see if we can prise it up on the corner. A bit tricky that one. 
let's turn it around. So let's have a look at where we are. We've got it all the way open, apart from this one corner. So we've got to get this corner up somehow. Okay, I think we can go in. There we go. Oh, that's a bit tricky, that was. And now we've got that edge off, we can take uh, just a normal prizer and run that down there. So that is definitely all off. Okay. And then we're going to try keep this edge open and then come back over this side and get this edge up there we go Okay, so now we've got it pretty much open. There we go. We can now move all the tools and turn it back over. And then the cover, we should just be able to now lift up. Okay, so there's one thing to watch out for once it's open. So inside here you've got the cable that runs round across and up to the webcam. You just see that along there? And that clips in down the side here. So you want to bring the uh, cover down and then unplug This one here. So I'm going to take a prize at all and just raise the edges up and ease that out. There we go. So that's that one, and then the cover can come off. This is the uh, the cable, the one that runs round to the webcam. Right. Once you're inside, the next thing we want to do is to remove this cover here. Um, so we're going to have to remove the following. We're going to have to take out this plug here, which is for the, looks like it's for the speakers. And this one here, which looks like it's for the aerial, for the Wi-Fi. Uh, where is it? Yes. So again, just get a little prize at all under the edge. And try and ease that out of its socket. There we go. That's that done. And then the one down here, again, take that just to get around the edges. So that's everything out. The next thing, we're going to remove the screws all the way around. Not the, uh, not the heat sink, but the screws going around it. Okay, that looks okay. So now we're gonna carefully lift the lid off, making sure we don't trap any of the wires, like that. Put that to one side. And then here we've got our two RAM sticks of four gig RAM, 3200. So we're gonna remove the four gig And we're going to replace it with this uh, Lexar 16 gig kit. 3200, same speed as the last RAM, and this is a matched pair. That's it. And then we'll take our cover. 
making sure we put it on the right way. There we go. And then it's just the reverse of getting the screws in. Of course you don't have to do the opposite corners first of all. It's just a panel. I just go around, get all the screws in. Just trap that uh, cable under the edge here. There we go. Okay, now we're going to plug everything back in. So this one goes in here. Like that. Tape goes around there. This one goes back in here. Like that. And then we can take our cover. We can position that over there like that. And then we can take our webcam plug. Just peel that tape back a little bit. There we go. Put the back edge in first, give it a little gentle squeeze and then the front edge you want to pull out, pull out a little bit just to get it over the uh, over the edge of the case that we've put back on. There we go. Okay and now we want to take our flathead screwdriver and we want to make sure that that screw is back retracted, which it is. And now we should be, just be able to clip everything in down the edge here. And then we can turn over the device, being very careful. And we're gonna take a soft cloth and just run it round, supporting the case, getting it clipped in down the edges. There we go, Get a little bit of a helping hand. And along the top, yep, that's okay. Now we're just gonna give the screen a little bit of a clean. So all we're using here is just some multi-surface wipes. Gets rid of all the fingerprints. And then I'm going to take some soft kitchen roll just to soak up the majority of the moisture. And then we're going to take our soft cloth, polishing cloth, just give it a good rub over. Like that. Okay, now we can turn it over and we get our drive cage back in. That's this one here. So to do that, it slots in like this. Slots in like this. And then this flap just gets pushed up to lock in, clip in like that. Cover back on there. And now we can take our four screws from the stand. Just give this a little bit of a clean. Like that. There we go. Once that's on, you just take your cover again, give it a little squeeze until it all clips into place. 
and that is it. So if you found that video useful, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And um, yeah, if you want to buy us a coffee, that'd be great too. Cheers.